day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 25th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we did have a strong C-class solar flare noted yesterday or overnight last night and as well another C-class solar flare today but nothing major has been thwarted our way having a look at the last 48 hours incoming large plasma prominence erecting from the surface there and slapping back down and looking at outgoing here this is where we saw the C-class solar flare watch on the left hand side the bright region this was an outgoing solar flare. Looking at multi-spectrum, showing the most active regions the past 48 hours. Amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed in with daily events worldwide. Having a look at 193 angstroms here. That's where we can see all of the plasma loops around the equatorial regions of our sun and the sunspot regions. As there are five sunspot regions right now, noted here and as well incoming. Quick look at those sunspot regions in action. Two large sunspot regions coming in for an earth facing view. Those things are massive. Going to be keeping an eye on those. Looking at space weather conditions currently right now, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds coming in at 390 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux down to a B range after seeing M-class solar flare and as well strong C-class solar flare. Both in an outgoing position producing a CME. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2. ISWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME taking off from our sun from the M-class solar flare. And NOAA Earth uh, space prediction spiral here. Showing the same thing. And as well a minor CME earth facing position. Looking at Lasco 2, this is the last 48 hours of imagery showing all the cosmic energy leaving our sun. No data missing here on the last 48 hours of imagery. So we are able to see in full view the large CME that was projected right there from the M-class solar flare. But those two large sunspot regions that are coming in right now, definitely going to be keeping an eye on them during the Earth-facing event. I want to thank you all for watching today and as well, hitting that like button, subscribing to this channel. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the family. Closer look at that large CME taking off from our sun. Current look at our magnetosphere. Showing the pressure on our planet. We're hanging in there. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. As the largest was a 5.8 reported here in Yamada, Japan. Followed by a 4.5. So off the coast of Japan. Minor activity through Papua New Guinea. And then we get to deepest earthquake today. 4.6. Kermadec Islands. Noted yesterday to watch for activity. Looking across the North American plate, largest being a 4.5 there off the coast of Oregon and as well a 4.0 at the geysers, California. That is a strong earthquake for the geysers. California under a lot of pressure right now. Looking at USGS <clears throat> as they are reporting 268 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. A quick look at Hawaii as things have calmed down at Kilauea still seeing about 38 earthquakes across the the big island maybe 11 of them around the caldera of kilauea 
But notable here, all the activity around the California Basin and up into Nevada. Heads up. 4.5 there off the coast of Oregon. Ring of fire under a lot of pressure right now and we've been watching it go up and down in waves over the past couple weeks. So heads up, something's coming. Now let's carry on here as we did have notable earthquake here, 4.4. Revilla Islands, Riviera Plate, and as well Mexico with a 4.3 there. Puerto Rico still seeing activity. 4.8 there. Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge as yesterday we reported North Mid-Atlantic. And as well notable here, 4.6 Africa, Uganda, and a 4.2 there, Northern India. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a quick look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Noting all the elev elevated rings are the depth of the earthquakes. Increasing activity up into the North American plate recently has me a little bit concerned from California north to Alaska. Heads up. Much love, everybody. And if you are in an earthquake-prone zone, for instance, the west coast of United States and Canada, be ready. Noted the, in the activity coming to the Kermadex. Now let's get to weather here. Looking at Zoom Earth, showing satellite imagery from around the world. Lots of wildfire smoke coming out of northern BC. And as well, Northwest Territories. The Yukon fires have since calmed down, but still seeing a lot of wildfire smoke coming from the north. Fort Smith, Grand Prairie, overlooking the Atlantic. We've got Invest Area 92L, as well Tropical Storm Franklin heading north. Don't really know exactly where it's going to land just yet. We've also got Invest Area 93L heading up into the Gulf. Invest Area 91E coming out of the East Pacific and as well 92E coming out of the East Pacific. West Pacific, we do have Typhoon Tropical Storm Adamre. Invest Area 93W, it is a low pressure tropical disturbance. And then we get to Typhoon Goring, which looks like it will be a super typhoon making landfall in Taiwan Wednesday at around 8 a.m. So heads up Taiwan as you have Super Typhoon on your way, on its way to you. Wanted to note out here all of the extreme weather that ran through Ontario last night. Multiple lightning strikes. A lot of my friends through the area reporting the crazy amount of lightning that was striking around central and southwestern Ontario. As you can see here, coming through Chicago, there was a big system developing. Strong winds coming off of Lake Huron. Lake Simcoe. Daily evaporation rains from a very humid day. Having a look here at all the lightning strikes through the region during the storm. At one point, there were 50 lightning strikes a minute. Through Hamilton, they got really bombarded. Kitchener. It was definitely a scene across Ontario last night. Torrential downpours, strong winds, and multiple lightning strikes. But just look at all the lightning strikes. This is the last 24 hours around the world. Wowie. It's electrifying. There were reports of some power outages through Brantford and as well surrounding areas. Watch for possible flash floods from the Grand River. Up to 100 millimeters of rain fell from those storms last night. A lot of regions in the southwest reporting flash floodings as well. Through Windsor and Essex area. 
Now let's get to weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Showing the next few systems heading our way. Big low heading up into the Atlantic provinces. Tropical storm Franklin there. Moving northward. And then another tropical system here in the eastern gulf. Developing by Wednesday. Cutting across Florida. And then a big mess of weather here for the Atlantic provinces. Low pressure system coming out of the Canadian prairies. And then in the long range forecast, have another tropical system developing. Looking at the northern hemisphere, two very large lows. One in the long range forecast, circling right around Iceland. The other one up over Hudson's Bay. And then overlooking here, long range forecast for Japan. As you do have a super typhoon on its way. In the long range forecast, multiple lows through the region. Monsoon rains are devastating this year. Much love everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.